He used to flirt, come to me, telling me things, tell me he's only with his girlfriend because of her car. He didn't have sex with her. He was just like a pervert. Like Coming here, suck my toes and all this stuff, and saying he wanna knock holes through my bedroom wall so we can connect, and just complaining, throwing my rugs away, just doing any little thing to aggravate me. Any Why do you think thing. he was doing that? Because he's sick. You know, Your Her, Honor. Uh, if they can't be quiet, then you have to leave. Do you understand that? This is a courtroom. Uh, frankly, Your Honor, if there's anyone in this in this courtroom at all who is sick, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's Miss Wilson. This is one of the reasons I, I brought this witness. Who is this witness? This is Stephanie Evans. She was in the apartment with me when the incident took place. Saw at least a good portion of the attack. Just step up a second. Did you see the incident involving the knife? Um, yes, I did. I saw her slashing and kicking at him. Was anybody holding her at the time? When I saw it, no. But she was slashing him with the knife. Did you right. see the knife cut him? I just saw the slashing and her kicking, and then I went back into the apartment because I wasn't dressed, and I was getting dressed. By the time it was over, he was back into the apartment calling the police. And when she threw the things into the apartment, she threw it on the, um, uh, the couch where usually we were sitting, and there's glass and everything around it, and someone could have seriously been hurt. The living on blinds are heavy. It's a boy at the bottom of them. When I hit well, it... Well, you had a temper right attack, there. madam. I didn't have a temper attack. You didn't. I mean, I was upset. I mean, he Well, that's everything temper. He, did. Saying he had my braids all over the floor. I had scratches all on me. He pulled my hair from the scalp. Well, what'd you expect him to no, do? Well, when I you mean, came, when you came at him with well, a butcher was, knife that was 12 I, inches I long. I didn't cut him. I didn't even slash at him. You got into a dispute. You're supposed to take care that your little girl doesn't play music so that it's disturbing neighbors. That doesn't mean that you're, not, that you're supposed to bang at the door or at a wall. What a good neighbor usually does is pick up a phone and call and say, you know, the music is really loud. Can you turn it down? It's Sunday morning. Be that as it may, it escalated. I find that based upon the credi credible testimony in this case, you were not afraid of him. You were really annoyed. And if you had just gone back into your apartment after you went and complained to him, all of this could have been resolved. You didn't do that. You went back into your apartment, you armed yourself with a deadly weapon. You came back to his apartment. You were disarmed by this man and a couple of neighbors after you did some damage. Even then, it was over. But you weren't satisfied. You went back into your apartment, and you were really mad. You weren't afraid. You were mad. Because if you were afraid, you would have stayed in your apartment. You were mad. So you picked up a heavy object in your apartment. You went back to his apartment and you destroyed his property. Then you went back home. No. You weren't finished yet. Mm -hmm. You were still angry. So you got something else. And you threw something else through his window. Then you felt better. You're responsible for his damaged property. The judgment in this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,000. That's all. Thank you. Oh, excuse. Step out, please.